Well, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. We're going to open up this box of MetaZoo Nightfall. It's already been cut because the video, the camera stopped five seconds ago when I was recording. Anyway, it's for me anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to, I got to open one of these with my wife. I did not open one just for you guys and hear my thoughts on the set. Uh, so we're going to do that. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's raining here in West Virginia. So this is how we're going to celebrate today. Uh, so let's hop in and see what we can do. Uh, patrons, again, this, I cut this. It's, I mean, there's no, it's my box. Who cares? If I pull something crazy, you can say that I seeded the box and it doesn't matter. It's my box. So who cares? Um, anyway, the camera stopped working like as soon as I cut the box open. And so I had to redo it. Uh, let's talk about some stuff. Um, We've got Nightfall, the newest set. Patrons, your boxes are all delayed as a result of the theme decks not coming in in time. Uh, so there, there's some issues with the uh, the way that things are coming out. Uh, I'm sure behind the scenes there's you know reasons and explanations for that. Um, and you know, I think I heard some stuff didn't get wrapped correctly or something. So, uh, but we got booster boxes. Mike kind of shared on the podcast. Uh, Mike was on the podcast this week that he made the decision to get the booster boxes out in time for Halloween so that people could, um, could enjoy the set in time for Halloween. And I appreciate that. Oh, pack one headless horseman and a Mothman non-foil. Uh, so super interesting. These non-foils actually holding some value. I, I thought those wouldn't hold as much value. Um, but Headless Horseman, that's a good one. That's uh, that's one of the chase cards, I think, in the set. So uh, it'll be fun. This set's really cool. Um, I think that this set is going to go down as uh, the, the kind of pinnacle set for uh, MetaZoo. I think Cryptid Nation was fun. Uh, it was great. But this set seems to have so much more flavor. Look at that. It has so much more flavor, and it seems a little bit more honed in. Ooh, and a Headless coal miner from west virginia and a headless horseman in the back from blair mountain west virginia baby i think part of the reason i love this game so much is that so many of the cryptids and things are from where i'm from it's funny it's uh it's kind of cool and i think it's cool for other people too to, to see that and i think that's one of the the reasons the game is successful uh this has been a good box <laughs> so far and a lightning split all right all right uh, yeah, so I don't know. I just feel like this set has a lot going for it. The thematicness of it is, you know, I think really good. And I think a lot of people relate to Halloween and get excited about that. And, uh, you know, Headless Horseman, all things that uh, I think, you know, cryptids were things that people know, but these are even more that way. Um, a Thunderbird, that one's cool. Uh, if this page named if this page's name is Quetzalcoatlus in addition to Thunderbird. Oh, this is Quetzalcoatlus in addition to Thunder. That's cool. Each turn you contract a lightning spell. Uh, that's cool. Lightning Talons. I think we're going to try to do a league uh, for MetaZoo here coming up in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. Um, excited about that. Get some gameplay going on. Uh, help people learn the game. There's a, you know, there's a statement that nobody plays this game. Hope Diamond. There's a statement that nobody plays this game. And honestly, like, the game's been out for not that long. Come on. Give some people some time to learn it and to hop in and to play it. Uh, the game's been not, not out. Ooh, Grim Reaper. Okay, so this is super cool. I was reading this card earlier. Uh, the, the LP on it is one. So it's one health point. It costs nine to cast. The end one. It's just an attack for one. This attack ignores the text boxes. If it if it attack damage a caster, the result of not uh, roll die. If the result is not a one or six, that caster loses the game. <laughs> oh man, you can only have one in your deck. So like, I just think stuff like that's cool. I think it's fun. Um, I think it's fun to try to pull stuff like that off, and uh, it'll be interesting. Um. So I'm going to try to get some gameplay stuff out. I'm going to try to support the idea of people learning how to play. Uh, Cause I think that they, you know, I've, I've played uh, quite a few rounds with my buddy here, Robbie. Um, Robbie and I have played quite a few. I've played a little bit locally too. Um, and the game's fun. It's uh, it's, it's a lot like, you know, Magic the Gathering. It's got a lot of Pokemon elements. Um, it, it's definitely different than Flesh and Blood, uh, but it's fun. It's a, it's, you know, it's an enjoyable game. So uh, I think people underestimate the amount of time it takes for people to learn how to play a brand new TCG, um, especially one that's, you know, 
in its very much infancy. A little card damage here. I haven't had any card damage on any of the important cards, though. But I have noticed a lot of the non-foils. Um, okay, I still don't understand the Oklahoma octopus. I really need to look into it because, I don't know, I just feel like... Oklahoma doesn't have a ocean, so how do they have an octopus? I guess somebody said, I think it was my wife said, well, what if it's in a lake? It's like, I don't know any octopuses that live in lake. All right, so you see some some whitening on the top. Um, I don't think it affects the expensive cards, though. Let's see. Well, yeah, see, like, the, the Bell Witch doesn't have any of that. Um, so there's a lot of that going on, too. Uh, yeah, the print was, you know, not, not where we thought it was going to be. It actually came from China. Um, but you know, in the interview with Mike on the made the Zuby with you podcast, um, you know, he kind of explained that simply put, like they couldn't get it done in time and he wanted the cards in the hands for people for Halloween. So, and I loved, he was like, this is, you know, uh, you know, the, de for the delays, he was like, this is the last time that this can happen. The next set, we need to make sure it's out on time. And, um, yeah, see the white, oh, the whitening is horrible, but again, it's just the, it's not the expensive card. So it, doesn't really matter. Like, I don't really treat my commons super well anyway. Potion Seller. This is supposed to be a pretty good card. People are talking about the way that this plays. Once per turn, place a potion page from your cemetery onto your chapter by paying one aura for each stock counter on this page. Awaken the page. And, oh, okay. So you get to awaken something. Uh, opposing casters may use this page's power on their turn. Dang. That's pretty cool. I love that they put a non-foil in every pack. I think that that's a really, really great um, counterpoint to the idea that nobody plays this game. Oh, that's my favorite foil in the set. I love it. I think it's a great counterpoint to the idea that nobody plays the game. Like, it appears that by doing that, they're trying to make the game cheaper to play. Um, and I really like that. While, you know, continuing the, the collectability and investment side of the foil so um it's cool werewolf of defiance okay we just hit our first wendigo too this is i think the only card i need in full hollow still i have not i think i've opened six boxes um and i have not hit a full foil wendigo i've hit a bunch of mothmen uh, but i've not hit a full foil wendigo i think i hit one box that had a um reverse hollow wendigo so very interesting um, I wonder if the collation's a little bit off because I've had a lot of Mothman and I don't think that it's short printed or something like that based on like TCG player sales of the other cards. The Bandage Man, what is that? Bandage Man of Cannon Breach. Uh, I would love to do, I, there must be a YouTube channel that's going through all the cryptids and, uh, that would be super interesting. It'd be a ton of work to do. Uh, that's why you won't. I won't have time on my channel to do that, but, um, the red ghost, I might not have this one in full haul either. If that one exists in full haul, I have to, I have not had time to put everything in my collection tracker patrons. We do have a collection tracker that tracks the value of all your collection for MetaZoo and, you know, flesh and blood. And, uh, well, you know, it's kind of gets updated in real time or whatever. Uh, but it's also a great way to see if you have a full set because you can kind of see everything on one piece of paper. All right. Halfway through the box. No, I guess we've got the Headless Horseman. It'd be nice to hit a full hollow Mothman Grim Reaper, or really the best case scenario is the Wendigo for me, because um, I haven't hit that one yet. It's crazy. You open up a lot of boxes. All right, duplication on the Werewolf here. The Werewolf of Defiance. It's cool. I think um, this set, again, the, the way that the set's set up, uh, you've got like kind of four or five real good chase cards in um, in the Wendigo, the Headless Horseman, the Grim Reaper, and then of course Mothman. Uh, oh, and Andri Indrid Cold is another one of the chase kind of cards. Uh, so that's super cool to have that. Um, and then you've got the Frightful 13, which is cool. The Dark Watchers. Uh, so there's a lot of little different things set up for, for collecting. Uh, definitely. And then of course you've got the, what's the, the, the old scratch, I think is the, is the devil, um, which I don't anticipate pulling. Um, so I, I won't include that in like completing a full set because then only a hundred people can complete the full set. 
that's just not i'm not i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna be like i have to spend seven grand to complete the set i'm just gonna be like no the set's complete uh unless i pull it and then i'll be like oh i pulled it Woo! potion seller foil that's another one of the ones that uh people tend to gravitate towards financially it seems to be going up i think because of gameplay that's what i'm hearing uh so it'll be cool i think we'll try to do a little bit of uh like some sort of league for the the armor the discord server with some prize support or something Ooh, the guardian angel uh it'll probably be a free to play thing just to try to encourage people to try the game out because i'm sick of people saying that nobody play it uh and i think that the more opportunity that people have to play it the more opportunity that they have to hop in oh yes <laughs> finally oh my gosh the chase for this full foil wendigo has been just not the best for me uh full hollow wendigo a little bit of whitening on the top i don't care i'm not getting graded uh arena when this page flips when it when this page flips a coin and the result is tails you may awaken this page and attack a page or caster oh that's cool uh cool man we did it baby we did it not that but maybe we'll get some clumping we'll get another one the wendigo all right i think i have now completed the full set i think that's the um i think that's it i think i've got the full set uh i'll have to I don't know. Maybe I'll do another video sometime later this week after I put everything in my tracker and figure out a way to collect it and organize it like I did for Crypted Nation. Um, those small, actually, these binders right here work really well for Mendezu. They hold like exactly the number. There's 163 total cards in the set. But I don't put the non-foils in there. I just put the, um, the foils and the reverse foils. And so you can complete a full set with one of those kind of smaller binders, which is pretty cool uh oh sweet we hit the wendigo let's go let's go i like i like holding sets in different binders i don't know i know not everybody does that but i organize all my binders all my collections by binders uh alaskan vortex i don't like that artwork no offense to pepper no offense to you artwork's funny man some people like artwork some people don't art like artwork that's the point of art right like arts uh art's supposed to be subjective the Momo, oh, the Momo fell on the ground. Uh, art's supposed to be subjective, and that's why I can't stand people who criticize MetaZoo because of the art. It's okay to be like, I don't like MetaZoo because of the art. But when you're like, you guys are idiots for liking MetaZoo because of the art, you're like, you're subjecting, you're forcing somebody to have an opinion that is your subjective opinion, which is ridiculous. Um, the point of art is to be you know creative and subjective and that looks different for everybody so i don't get it i don't get it. Ooh, righteous reckoning Woo! that's a cool card that looks cool all right we got like five packs left in the close let me just say this i think that this set has more potential i mean let me just say this i think it has more potential there's the thunderbird it has more potential than Krypton nation for uh for the encrypted nation first edition in terms of just like collectability and i just i don't know why i just feel like i just feel like this set everything's ooh grim reaper the the chases seem more accessible in my mind like more accessible and more um widely known like the grim reaper wendigo uh you know the headless horseman i just think that that kind of collectability and um and that kind of uh ooh, injured cold uh that kind of knowledge of the the things will go a long way and i think the set has some a higher f a higher floor in the collectible market than cryptid nation i mean i know the boxes are more like i'm not saying that the value is going to be higher than cryptid nation i'm just saying I think the demand long term is going to be different especially that cryptid nation has the kickstarter version um there this is the this is the first version of this set so like there's a full momo and a stalactite uh so all in all i can't be sad about this box because i got the wendigo but we did not hit a mothman which would have been nice what other your hollow full hollows do we hit full hollows wise this wasn't great i mean we hit the headless horseman and the wendigo so i can't complain but we it would have been nice to hit like another like grim reaper or injured cold but we did hit both of those in um 
in reverse hollow. So uh, no complaints here. Do we hit injured? I thought we hit injured. Anyway, I don't think we did. We did not. We did hit the the red ghost so anyway lots of fun this set's really cool um i hope you guys enjoy it patrons those of you who are able to pick it up um if you were not able to pick it up we do have another um another wave four coming for those of you who didn't you know you you'll only be able to order if you did not get the other ones probably um we'll figure out the best way to do it but uh, it'll depend on how many i have and after i ship everything out but uh i hope you guys are enjoying the set i think it's super cool let me know what you think in the comment section those of you guys who are here just from flesh and blood and and you're upset about it i don't i don't get it um allow other people to enjoy things and if you don't enjoy it then just move on it's fine it's it's not a big deal there's there's a lot of uh cross cross coming over and uh there's a lot of people who are just meta zoo fans there's a lot of people who are just flesh and blood fans and that doesn't mean anything negative about anybody else uh this is a collectible card game and I don't know if you know this, but like the more collectible card game fans that we have in this world, the better it is for all of us. And so um, I don't understand the kind of competition that's coming from the other side of stuff. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Remember, be kind to the people around you. Uh, happy Halloween. Let me know what costume you're wearing today. And we'll see you uh, in a little bit for another video. Uh, we were going to do a stream tonight, but I'm going to spend time with my family instead. Uh, so hope you guys have a great day. Remember to be kind to people around you. We'll see you again next video.